All right. Welcome to the International Space Station. Time flies. If it's the International Space Station you're talking about, time has pretty much flown by. It's hard to believe permanent human presence on the ISS began 17 years ago. Over the course of all those years, the ISS has outperformed just about everyone's expectations. Leroy Chow commanded the station for six months. Well, I think all of us are, are a little bit pleasantly surprised by how smoothly things are going. Not to say that there aren't some issues aboard station or haven't been, uh, but by and large, it's gone a lot better than most of us expected. That is saying a lot. ISS is huge and complex. Example, it's the size of a U.S. football field with systems to generate oxygen and water. The electrical power system is connected by eight miles of wire. But just like your home, the station was designed to be okay. maintained. Unlike your home, when something major does break, you can't call a repairman. 49 minutes into today's spacewalk, a good view of Peggy Whitson as uh, she uh, continues to work with a uh, ratchet wrench. So the astronauts are the repairmen and women. U.S. astronauts have conducted some 145 spacewalks from station airlocks many during construction, but also to do things like change out pumps and remove and replace batteries. I felt yeah. quite a way. Right there, you want to try the connector? <laughs> the Russians have conducted more than 50. We've really done come a long way with EVA. It's really quite a mature uh, operation now. We, we've had our share of close calls and, and, uh, and things that didn't go right. But uh, uh, by and large, we, we know how to do it. And of course, it does come with more risk, but it's a necessary part of maintaining ISS. Maintaining also means constant resupply. About every two months, if there aren't launch delays or mishaps, the station gets a visit from an unmanned resupply ship. Thousands of pounds of food, clothing, science experiments, replacement equipment. Russian ships dock right to the station. The U.S. SpaceX and Orbital ATK vehicles are snared. Astronauts get a kick out of that. We do a lot of science, like you mentioned. We've also had a lot of robotic arm operations where we've had uh, cargo vehicles arriving that we actually reach out and grab it with the robotic arm. That's been a lot of fun. The plan now is to keep the space station operational until 2024. There is uncertainty beyond that. The age of the station is one consideration. Money is another. It costs NASA about $4 billion a year to maintain and operate the ISS. That's a lot of cash. Some experts argue that money could go to other NASA ventures, like the Mars program. John Zarella, CGTN, at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida.